Sir Dauda Keraba Jawara, to many he was considered irreproachable, a leader who was always approachable. His time has come, it's time for him to go, but our spirits are not low because the fond memories of his legacy remain in our hearts, a warmly glow. It's widely agreed that he was merciful and humble. And yes, at times there were concerns and people would grumble, but under his watch, he caused us no trouble. It was all so peaceful, no major struggle. He was kind and fair, his leadership supple. He ushered us through our liberation, encouraging diversity and inclusive participation. The man was upstanding and fostered an environment of mutual respect and understanding, giving his people a sense of common purpose. He wanted to make sure not a single Gambian felt like they were worthless. Embracing diversity, he created a nation that was gleeful, religiously, tribally. He united all the people. Sir Dauda Keraba Jawara laid the foundation for our nation's elevation. So let's move away from this economic stagnation. It's up to us now. We must have that determination. Now his leadership ended suddenly and that was our destiny. But he lived a good life and left a good legacy. Blessed with longevity, he could have enjoyed a life of privacy and serenity, but he still watched over us, sharing his great wisdom. Maybe if we take just one page from his book, then Gambia dinner them. Now rest, sir, your work here is done. The history you leave cannot be undone. On this land you leave your permanent footprints, an example of patriotism and democracy ingrained in our minds like imprints. May God have mercy on your soul. Sigil and Gambia. Thank you for watching.